Welcome back to Timberborn. My name is Nilaus and we are continuing on our journey here with our Timberborn. Don't worry, don't fret. It may, it may have been a bit of a, a while ago since I did my last episode, but I am I have not abandoned it. I certainly want to con continue on this uh, magnificent journey of the uh, in our Beaver Beaver universe. And it was just because of a marathon event for Dyson Sphere program that I uh, took a bit of a break from this. But we are back here. And uh, some of the things, the reason why we just saw an explosion here is because I want to make an aquatic uh, farm here. Uh, that's not going to be like the main issue of what we're going to, or main topic of what we're going to do. We're not going to be sort of fidgeting with small things, but we have grand game schemes to do. And those grand schemes are basically we want to make some golems because we will be making a lot of golems uh the thing is this is our original district and then we are moving basically moving more into the new district here we have some forest we have some all that we have a nice canal here that generates a pretty good decent amount of water but only during the, the wet season when the river is flowing uh, so what i'd like to do is i'd like to sort of make a little little no a giant reservoir that goes here here and here that reservoir will then keep enough water for us to last through any and all wet uh, dry seasons and we can then keep this flowing and keep generating water by just drying out on our uh, on the big water, water reservoir during the drought season. So that's the plan, but we need workforce for doing that and that's why we want golems to get in here. So I will be working on making the golems. They're going to be working on some factories. One, two, three. The reason why I'm making three factories is because there are three different things. The chassis, the limbs, and the limbs. There, the heads and then chassis, the head and limbs. Yes, and it will be have four limbs uh, and they are also working faster. So the thing is, all of this is you can make one golem in 18, 18 hours. Then we'll make some assemblers up here, these ones, and I, they are working on in on an 18 hour cycle. So that if I have two of them, that should be fine, but I'll keep three because why not? Uh, then I will also need to make sure that I can get up here to that level. And that will be... Shouldn't it go start from that side? Yes, it should. We're going to go out because we need to go down, 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 down. Here. Like this. And then, of course, we need some roads. That's going to be a road. That's going to be a road. And that's going to be a road. Then we need some charging. That will be... Oh, we need a control tower. A control tower will make them go basically twice as... They'll be, they'll be twice as good uh, if I build it. And that will have sort of an area. The cost is three signs per hour. So we don't want to have like a million of those. Uh, but we do want to have them in the areas that we find that they are valuable. Let's get this and get our golden production up and running. In the meantime, you can also see this is used to... Where I used to have my cattail. But I don't really like that. So we'll make a sapper location here instead. Uh, so we can start working on... It's not really important right now, but it's just for future reference. Uh, I will make a sapper so for the pine because we need some resin for some better planks later on. And we also hear that I'm having cutting this part out here and making a maple for the maple syrup. So we have some part of this maple here that will not be harvested while the rest will be harvested. So it's just basically trying to get a few things up. But uh, all of this is going to take quite a while to do. So let's jump on forward until we have the first of the golems available and now we have almost the first beaver ready let's see or beaver golem ready and come on there we go there's a beaver golem and we can then enable this as well there's no reason to have that running all the time uh, and now we need to put it to work that will just get started on working but what i really want to do is i want to replace uh, this here with golem so that takes cockade one Okay, well, that's a great name for you. And then basically we will just try to sort of uh, replace a lot of things. We'll take to replace the stuff around here. There's first these four. So we get our plank production. We will also need to get some more smelting production over here. One, two, three, I think. We'll get definitely get that. And then I'll be getting some kind of here. And, oh, I wonder if I... We've been looking at this uh, here. This This carousel just looks so enticing. Oh, but it is so enticing, isn't it? It is just so enticing. Um, you know, I think we'll go with all of this out. Yes. And then look at the carousel. There. Not that it is needed, but damn do we want it anyway. And then one, 
two and three four there we go so these will also be hooked up and actually now that i think of it they'll be hooked up in the wrong direction wrong sequence so we'll just do it this way so that they will actually be built in the sequence so they get the power good i'll get you a bit lower down here so that's just something we want to build eventually but right now it's all about getting some more of these uh uh, get can use more of these golems and as we do that we'll move over here look at our two farms they're very nice and now it's time to get this area so if i want to build a a block here and here and all of that places and if i want to use my golems for it well i do have a problem with that and that is i do have a several problems that we need to deal with that's how the game works this is the end this is the maximum construction area so obviously we can't build stuff up here we can't build stuff down there we need a new district pretty close pretty obvious but we also need power how do we get power well the way we get power is uh, for example by getting it up from up here this one cannot be made because of the distance so it'll have to be made from down here and now we have if we want to get power from here we could do like like a staircase down and that's super super horrible but there is a cool way to transport power that one that one and uh, the only issue we have with this is that it actually needs a lot of uh it needs a lot of uh staircases to get up there so we're going to start by making some of those staircases yep and that will be just a bit of a tricky thing for for us to build how is the smallest area we can make in terms of staircase uh i think the smallest part is something like this and then And maybe this is not even going out. And then I think from here on it's something like this. Except probably a good idea to put the belts in or the roads in immediately. So let's get you in here. 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 And then work our way up. Like that. Oh, actually, could have taken this as well. So I can take, do two of these at once. Wow, this is a cumbersome way of doing it. But I need to get all the way up, so I'm up top here, so I can build this one. Unfortunately, no matter how much it is, it can't be reached from the other side. So this is a bit of a bit unfortunate. So we'll just do this part, and I'll build. This is just a temporary little thing here, but still like a massive amount. And then here. There we go. So that's going to work. I hope we also need to, uh, to eventually make a new district. But before we make a new district, and uh, then I will do sort of the way we did with districts. I want to build a few things that we think are valuable. And I want to build that as far over as we can. That's going to be here and here. That will be some storage. Then I'm going to need to get some wood storage here as well. What else do we need? Um, I guess, oh no, we have a, that, uh, a drought coming in. We're going to have some drop off points here and here uh, for whatever we need to bring in. You know, I don't actually need two drop off points. I can't imagine that because uh, this will be exclusively working on uh, with, beaver, uh, with beaver golems. Don't want to have anything else so we can start building this kind of thing and just just let that trickle in and get done as fast as possible this needs to be done uh, we also need to make a cross here and let me see what do we think we want we want some highest ones and do we want to make them yeah we want to make them here four and then when it comes to levies, and that will also need to be taken out. So there's definitely some work on taking all of this out. You need to be taken out. Um, this part, does that need to be taken out? Not really. But I'll still do it. There. So they are building, and once all of this gets up here, and this gets built, most of all, then I can build a little house on top, and then we can have power dragged down, and then we can actually drag this power all the way down to this location and get 
Uh, from here, we can get two of the charging locations, for example. There and there, and then we'll have a, a big tower that will be affecting whenever they come back to this location, I think will be a good location. And if I do that, that's probably a good location. Oh, this would be even better. Yeah, this would be even better because there's no nothing else positioned at that location. Great. So that'll be uh, just what we need for this part. And I guess it's at this point since we have a drought. Oh, wait a minute. A drought means that I have to pause these ones because uh, otherwise they will just over consume the water. I don't mind that it continues to flow and I don't mind that I can sort of get this one a bit down. That's great. Uh, here we will have some issues and we'll probably have to just go back and rely on. Uh, this will then stop. Unfortunately, uh, oh, right, hold on. I'm not in a drought yet. I thought it was in a drought. Never mind, never mind. Uh, let's, don't mind me. This is this is just a, a kind of a contingency I do when drought starts. All right, this one can and should be working. We'll uh, make more levees here. I'll make them deliberately from the inside so that they don't block themselves out. That one. See, for example, this is the wrong sequence. I'd much rather have it from this side. And on the other side, well, that needs to be deleted as well. We'll also need, there will be a lot of uh, complications up here. Yes, that will be going. But first, the first thing we need to do, and the most important thing, is getting up here. We won't actually be able to make all of this tower uh, with what we have, because it's simply going to be too far away. Maybe we can make some of it if we actually... Hold on. Maybe we can. If I'm going to be a bit sneaky on this, then if I did... Again, wrong sequence. Actually... Always make them from the inside. The idea being, what if I build up here? And then... Then, you know, maybe... Maybe this would reduce... It's still not enough. That could hit this location. Um, yeah, now they are way beyond what we need. One, two, one, two. This this level isn't really necessary at all for our build. That's exclusively necessary because it's nice to have. Get that out. Get that out. That one. And therefore it needs to be here. Like this. Hey, it might actually work. Uh, we will definitely give it a shot and see if it works and then uh, see how uh, how things are behaving here. So that means we're gonna go back here and see how many of these do we have. We have uh, two of those, right? No, we have three of them. Uh, that means we continue to work the other ones here because right now what we want to do is we want to get transition transition as many as possible of our we want to free up more of our beavers so they can work on this part and then once this is built we will start making some sending our beavers in here for building the rest of this tower because as soon as this tower is ready we'll get all of the beavers out and then only have this as a golem location uh, with that being said we are just going to wait until morning until some of this gets built and oh actually i should be making this as well uh, what i like to do for this part is I think I'd like to build something like this so we can get water out if we should feel so inclined. I uh, don't think I will, but why not? And this is one, two from that level. One, two, th three, three, four. That's the height we want to build at. So that's what we have to be uh, mindful of here. So it'll flow over. Uh, that means this is also still, just still too high, right? Yes, still too high. And that one. Now over here, this is one, two, three, four from this level. That means five from this level. 
That means if it's five high, then we'll get a line, we'll get another line, and then we'll get some of this just because. And we'll get more lines and more lines and more, which will go all the way to this location. And I'll obviously need to go further down. This is way out of what we can do right now. But it does need to get some things built. That one and that one and And then I just hope that I can make all of this. And the last thing we want to make is, of course, over here. The thing is, it will not flow back over on this side, but it will flow out on the other side. That means one, two, three is the right name. And that also has to be. So we need to get, again, some small things here. We're just preparing all of this for future, future builds. And... take that out I will also need to be going at this level which means we need to go probably across here which again means going down and going up that's the cheapest option go here and go through this and go this will need for that as well and then they'll need to go all the way in here hopefully that will work as well but that's only when I build a district at this location right now it's just a matter of seeing this uh, operational. So let's forward and see how fast we can get this. It'll probably be after the next drought that we'll have some kind of progress. Now we have all of the connection almost done. We are just having the last one coming up here with the last two logs. And as soon as we get that, we will see that these two will now also be enabled. It says that they cannot connect it to the city center because they are simply too far away. So the first one is connected, but the second one is not. That means at this point, we can actually start making this into a district. We don't have anything more. These three are blocked off because they're not connected to any road network. That doesn't matter because we don't actually want them to be connected to any road network. We don't need anything up there anymore. So we can casually uh, start removing this part. That one and that one. And we will now, uh, I guess we have to remove this as well, but uh, I still want uh, my other bridge across to be done. Once that's done, then I, <clears throat> then I can take this out. But I do think I want two locations out because this is more in a straightforward line. So this will be the easiest path in. And we are going to get this part. So what I'd like to do is, of course, you can see that this workplace needs to be enabled for golems. So every type has to be enabled for golem. That needs to be enabled. Uh, this one is not a, a building of that type. Uh, what we can also see is, for example, here, this is incredibly expensive, 10,000 to have to golems make golems. That's not what we're gonna do. We will have, okay, the district center should be good. Uh, that should work. Uh, this one is burning through our science, yeah, for better or for worse. And I will over here, uh, let's see, we will build that one and this one and looks like we are actually going to need to build it one higher up huh did not see that oh look at that some of these are just this one is just the wrong way how oh no there we go so this is now not created but once these two are created then we will have enough of a space to make sure that we can actually call it two different districts and make a district building in here uh, they don't cost anything to make a district building, but I oh no, I forgot this. Oh no, the horror They're just full of junk now, aren't they? Yeah, wheat and flour. Oh, don't ever do that Go away now Go away now. We pretend we didn't do that and we might have lost a lot of things, but I can just uh, I'll fix it in in post so no one will ever know that I'd made this mistake what I need to do here is I need to say what it is I want inbound. So we do have a few things we want inbound at this location. We want to make sure that we have planks. So let's uh, get those. Um, that is down here. That's definitely a thing. And then we want, what else do we want? Gears probably, and then metal blocks as well. So let's do metal blocks as well. 
and then I'm going to make one more here and that will be also close for everything and then we'll make gears there sweet and we don't even have any anything in here this is kind of problematic if we don't have any wood inside this location uh, what I am also going to do is get just prepared for this there Can I do that? And then also we want to make, I have as many uh, movements in here as possible. All right, this is now done. So I can actually start replacing this. I would really love to get this. All right, I'm going to be zooming forward just to get this done. It is now time to make it into different districts. I have cut off the lines here. Now we have a single line between the two areas. That's the one. I cut that off. I go in here, make a district gate there, make a new district. Here, this district is going to be uh, called the Lake District. Lake District. And this will be because it's going to be in the bottom of a giant lake. We are now going to be focusing exclusively on these. We're going to migrate production. And we are going to get to the Lake District from District 3. We will now be getting exclusively 3. Um... District 3, yes, here, migration to Lake District from District 3. Why is there zero here? Zero golems. I should have more than zero golems. Where are my golems? Oh, right. That's because this one is a manual migration and this one is going to be... I want to get golems. Eight, four here something for this uh let's get six over here immediately we have eight of those unemployed good let's uh see if that works we will now have yeah we have two of them in here we will be making sure that we have more because we're going to have more builders we will also have here uh we will we will now need to set up an export from this location that will be exporting, no, not here. And uh, make a new route to this lo location. It'll be making, now that we only have a few things, we need gears, and which I don't think we actually have. Then we're going to make, uh, let's see, oh, explosives. I think we might explosives. Don't know. Uh, we don't need explosives just yet. We might regret that. We definitely need metal blocks. Don't think I need it, but I, I, I'll make it. Here, uh, planks for sure. Planks, yes, please. And the last one is just the normal wood, the logs. That's actually the most important one. And we'll do some limits, then make sure that we don't export things that we don't have. So we need to make sure that we have, whoa, 100. Why do we have 50 here? We should have 200. And then go logs. We are not going to export unless we have more than 200. Yes, and we are not going to export planks unless we have more than 100. We are not going to export metal blocks until we have at least that. Good, and under in this location, we will be setting distribution limits. And we're not distributing anything, but we want to make sure that we set the maximum we want inbound. That's 100 here. Well, everything is set to 100, so except logs, we'll set that to 400 because, of course, we want more of that. Great. Now we have some uh, some things here. We are going to enable you, and we can then see how well they are performing. They get plus 90 and plus 60. That is really nice. So you need to start working, but you can't start working until you actually have that one built. So you should be able to start working here, here, and then I also need to make you able to get this one done and now they are they got a few tasks that they can do and that will be our exclusively that's what we just need to make sure they have good places to walk uh, this will be a path through all of that i don't know i'll just do that they will also have a path here good and then this location and that one and that one 
Uh, I think I'll actually make a few trees here because I think that we can get a few trees planted and still harvest it in good time. But that would have to be like some of the faster ones like pines, for example. We can do some pine trees here. Not a lot, but just a, just a few pine trees next to the river. We can then make sure that we harvest all of this area. There we go. Oops. Not this one. And we have a number of things on the other side as well. So we will now have our builders. Yes, they're working. And of course, things are not super quick because we don't have a lot of things uh, here either. And this will not be sending anything back. We don't have to distribute anything back on the other location. And of course, they can't build up here. Uh, what needs to be done is all of this wall here will be built from that side. And what, therefore, what I need is incredibly quickly built this one what are we missing a single log okay well how about building this first so we're not simply not getting the logs in here for uh, for the distribution here this one is uh, the logs they should be getting in but it's going to take a bit of time but let's uh, let's just a uh, summary of what it is that's, that we want to have happen when to get some logs in here they'll get in here we'll actually get this one prioritized because then no, it's not actually, okay, well, it's kind of prioritized, right? Kind of prioritized, but what is really more important is that one and that one, and they will be making into gathering flags. There, gathering flags there, that's good. That one goes through. And these two gathering flags, they will be able to, do they have, nope, they'll be switched over here. You'll be switched over. And then we at least have that being harvested out here. So they, they're now going to be harvesting just the first little bit of things uh, while we wait for our our tree planter to be done. That's going to be 12 days until we get just a little bit here. And in the meantime, we get just a few more things. Let's see. We, have, we need four builders. And then we need one here. And we need two there. So that's seven. How many did we get inbound? We got six. So we can just get another one inbound. Uh, late district, why does it have seven? Seven, eight. Let's get eight. I don't know why. Let's get eight. And we can now see over here, they will gradually start uh, working down here. This is the big task that they need to do. And if I want to do, just get a beat speed boost, let's see if we look at these. They get a speed boost. And then how long does the speed boost last? And there we go. Then it runs out. So if I want to make them make sure that they are faster and also consistently faster, then I think it would be a good idea to make a tower that actually covers that area. If we can get this done, gears, metal blocks should be done. And if we can get it done, then all of them working here will have that buff as well at the cost, of course, of a bit of science, which, well, we have a bit of, a bit of science, so no worries on that. We're also seeing that this is getting working, so that's nice. This is, uh, this part will also be doing, so we are uh, definitely getting some good progress here. Let's uh, fast forward a bit and then see. Oh, here we have another little thing. Uh, we can see that they are coming over here to be charging. Uh, we can't sort of be, it's not exactly uh, full on, on charging, but uh, they'll, they'll keep going. There we go. And we'll zoom forward and then see how it progresses. Good progress is good being made on uh, the wall here. This is this wall will take good care of it. And we also have uh, replanted a lot of things. It will still, as it takes 60, uh, six, 12 days, then it's still quite a, a while away. Uh, we are in the meantime just bringing a ton of logs in from both the other districts. And they're just running back here, back and forth here, just to get our logs in here so we can keep building. What we're building now is we are building the over here and we're also probably oh right hold on this uh this definitely needs to be just a little bit different and i will just go like this and go like that that should make sure that we can build all of this let's say this is one two three four then this should be one two three four so that's the same height uh in the meantime we want this part we have blocked off here we have built our bird here but it's not going to be built right now because this this is kind of the last thing we want to build uh, we want to make, plug the holes in the other locations uh, before we can do that 
And, you know, things are just uh, looking up. Things are looking uh, great here. We have all this. We have our, our drones building. We are, I've built another builder hut. So we now we have six, uh, not drones, six, uh, six go beaver golems working on building and two worker, two not really doing much, but actually just waiting for them to chop down some trees if they can at all get away with that. So let's uh, just again... Uh, let's take a look at it. We are working here. Uh, we have a, our giant forest that we built here is starting to work and we will now start the chopping it down. This, uh, these are worked by uh, they work by golems so that hopefully they'll be taking more. And we have our nice carousel that seemingly no one wants to use. Well, maybe that's just going to be at the end of the day. Since we are getting close to the end of the day, we are also getting another drought. Unfortunately, that drought will not be something we can actually get something working with. Oh, I see a problem here. These two need to be prioritized by haulers because otherwise they'll spend more of their time going back and forth to deliver than actually just hauling. Come on, we're at the close end of the day. Get them working on this one. I want to see them. I want to see some some work here. Actually, maybe they need to stop their normal work because it's otherwise it'll only be the idle ones and we don't really have idle people here or idle beavers even. And it is night time. Come on in. Come on in. Try the carousel. Please try the carousel. Yeah, that's 400 power being used for no reason. No one even wants to try it. That's disappointing. There we go. One guy. One guy tried. Yeah, there we go. Two, three. Oh, here they are. Now we're happy. There we go. That's brilliant. And it is now completely full. Sweet. Do we need another one? Uh, here we should now see that it's fully spiked. And then they go to bed now. Oh, they just need a little spin before bedtime. Oh, another batch comes in. Cool. All right. Let's. Uh, they got. They got a nice spin. Now get back to work. Now the drought has started, and what I've done is I've uh, shut this off because I can't actually allow this to completely dry up because that will also stunt our growth of our trees, and our trees are alive and happy and 87%. And how did you decide to go out there? Why? Or more likely, why did you decide to go out there? That's really weird. Ah, uh, that's kind of expensive is to get you out isn't it but we'll try to get you out like this yeah oh that was actually cool oh nice all right i just sh uh, shunted you out somehow i don't know it worked and they'll be continue to work up here we also are building this line because uh, if we look at the final structure i want to make sure that this goes all the way up to three and then it shuts off this part because that will be yeah just high enough that it'll be the same height as this part. So this one is somehow not being done. Uh, this is can't get all the materials. It's still the logs that are holding us up and the logs are holding us up because of uh, this is only at 90%. We are continuing to work here and we now also have this spinning. So as soon as we look at this guy, he is now no longer controlled. And as soon as you go in, then they get buffed as well. So that is sweet. Uh, we do need some power though, but I can't do any power at this location. So when you stick out here, we'll have to go back. It's only a short uh, six day drought, so that is not a problem. And unfortunately, we don't have this water, res water reservoir to fill it up just yet. So we'll just uh, continue on the building this uh, wall here, and then we'll uh, see how it goes. And it's probably going to be by the end of the drought. And so we're coming back here and you can see that the walls, the front wall is done, uh, the back wall, all this, the side walls are done. The back wall is pretty close to being done. That's great. Uh, during the storm flood that was just at the end of the drought, we had a bit of a splash over here. And well, that means we just have a bit of water down here. It doesn't really matter because, uh, well, they, uh, yeah, they, they can work in underwater as well. Uh, back here, we've just looked at uh, our build. Uh, we've had to build a healer. I built a few gear factories. Aside from that, everything is just the way we want it. We have these uh, farms set up or the sapping set up so that soon you can see here they are starting to leak some sap. If we go out here, we can see, do they have the sap? Yeah, they have 100%. So you can start uh, sapping this. Uh, we are going to get this into a storage that doesn't have anything. That will be pine resin. There we go. And I'd want 200 of that. There. And that should be good. Uh, in the meantime, if we look at here, let's just keep building stuff in. We have enough uh, incoming. We don't have enough uh, 
of the gears, but that's because, uh, yeah, well, that's just it. Uh, I have been trying to work on this location, just getting it slightly closer. And then that's why we find out that we just have an acute lack of gears. So they still have to go over to this location. Uh, as we continue over here, we just need the four remaining blocks. Once those four blocks are done, we can actually start just absolutely flooding the entirety of this base, which is kind of silly because then we don't have this. It's not going to work. And just at that moment, I just realized that there is really no reason to do this if we're talking about having uh, having this flooded in very short order. Because as soon as we start flooding, we're going to be bringing everyone out of here because there's no reason to have them inside here when they are being when it's being flooded. And what we missed, we are just missing three more. I do want to make sure that we have those uh, getting done. Because as soon as we raise this, well, let's raise it now immediately and just see it rise. I hope that they will not flood these just yet. Oh, they might actually. They, they probably will. That's the problem. That is the problem. Uh, but only once the last bits are done. Okay, we can see there's a slight bit of flooding here. But that one has to be done. Once it's done, we will allow the flood to come in. And at that point, I also, well, actually, that's at this point. I want to make sure that we delete all of these because I don't want anything inbound. There's no point in bringing anything inbound if we don't uh, don't have it. We just have need a bit of wood, which we have. And then from there on, once that's done, that is perfectly done. And I will now do this one. This will, of course, stop the flood of water in uh, into here and we can sort of let something go by but we really are very much interested in the flood here what i'm going to do now is i am going to just reduce all my 15 here because i don't want anyone in this area there's really no point in having anyone in this area as it gets flooded uh, we'll just send all of them out and there will be a big flood of extra workers coming into my home depot here or actually my it's it used to be my secondary now it's kind of my primary one here and we have lots of floods and we can now see that the flood is happening. Great. Look at that. Now the flooding is almost complete. As soon as it starts overflowing this area and overflow to up here, then it will also start to overflow right here. And this is uh, the highest we can get these three. So they will now be overflowing. So when we get just a little bit here, then we have uh, this giant lake that is a monstrously big lake and that will definitely be serving us for all the things we want in the in the future here. Uh, that means that during the drought, we can just open one of these and then just slowly, slowly leak out some water. It also means that we have an option out here to take out some water if we want to build over this area sooner or later. Or And we also can drag some power out here or drag some, uh, some water out here if we want it so that we can get, for example, power to this location. Uh, but that's going to be another thing. But it, it really just emphasizes the strength and uh, advent advantages of using golems at this point because this part here was built exclusively golems that means i didn't need any decoration i didn't need any uh, food and there are like six seven eight different kinds of food so uh, yeah in order for beavers to be better than than golems then they also have to have a lot of the amenities so they can get up in level and like lidos and the bath and yeah, religion and all that stuff. And uh, building that in a third location, especially one that you intend to flood and just leave behind, that is not the greatest uh, idea. Look at that. It's almost coming up here. And then that should also start leaking through here. And as we do that, we have reestablished our base in the most beneficial manner at, that we possibly can. This one will always be here. Um, so I could also take them up, but I really didn't want that. Um, we will be letting this go in. Come on, I want to see the first splash through. So anyway, if you have uh, enjoyed this episode, then uh, be sure to hit the like button. Also remember, I am still streaming this uh, over on Twitch. So check out my Discord or my Twitch uh, schedule just to see when the next times I'm be streaming this. So uh, thank you very much, everyone, for joining. I hope this was a good little showcase of uh, how we can use golems and how we can make a really nice and convenient water reservoir that will just make all future droughts uh, completely trivial. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, take care. And as always... Stay effective.